Something special. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Sugoi, amazing. <laughs> Hey, welcome to another beautiful day here in Osaka, Japan. So right behind us is a seafood market. It's a famous seafood market here in Osaka, Japan called Kurumon Seafood Market. So let's go inside and see how it is. As always, smash the like button and subscribe and let's go. Okay, so I'm starting from this entrance. There's multiple entrances to enter this market. Now let's see what kind of things they're offering here. I heard they're not just offering seafood. They're offering other things as well, like this kind of stuff, coffee. <laughs> Apparently it's coffee, but I'm more interested in showing you guys more of the Japanese seafood. And also I want to point out that $1 USD equals about 140 Japanese yen. So keep that in mind. So as we're looking at prices, you can you know get a feel and have an idea of how's everything. It's going to be more of a raw video, just walking around this market. Because sometimes I like to keep it raw more authentic you see there's a lot of different areas here over here it's not that crowded but if we head towards the middle where we are right now you're gonna see it's a lot more crowded a lot more people and uh, a lot more things to see oh, look at this right now they're boiling some looks like some lobster and a lot of these seafoods are expensive too okay that doesn't really look appetizing with the flies but a lot, of the, a lot of the stuff does look really appetizing. Like this is for like 2,000 Japanese yen. I'm not sure what kind of seafood that is. Just right over here, they just cut off tuna fish, a gigantic tuna fish. It was just here like a minute ago, which I'll show you a clip of it. So currently as I'm walking, I found this guy cutting some expensive tuna fish over here. And just look at the crowd, guys. It's amazing. They even like had some bells ringing and everything. Only in Japan. They love the tuna. Fresh fish. Wow. You see, you see guys how it was? Look at the head of this fish. So let me show you the store over here. So you can get sushi, box sushi like this, guys, for uh, 4,500 Japanese yen. I think with tax, it's 4,860. I'll put the price on the screen, I'll let you guys know how much is like a box of sushi. And these prices are gonna be more expensive than like the convenience store prices, obviously, because fish markets here in Japan are daily fresh fish or shrimp, or depending on like, what seafood you're seeing. In some places you can eat inside just like this place. They even have a uh, picture over there, you can see of like different types of fishes. Mm. The guy in the back is making some sushi. Wow, you can really smell it. And then here, here are some bits of the tuna, probably that we just saw recently. So just recently got caught. A small piece of tuna is for, I wonder how many grams it is. I'm not really sure how many grams, like what's the weight of it, but that's for a thousand Japanese yen. They even have these auctions. If you do know, you don't know. In Japan, they have these auctions for fish, which it's pretty famous. Actually, I think the most famous market is in Tokyo, which we'll head to in future videos. Just make sure you're subscribed. You, you'll stay up to date. But uh, yeah, they have these auctions for these fish because some of them could go for a really expensive price. This looks like a lot of different types of pickled stuff, a lot of pickled vegetables. As you can see, like pickled celery and other stuff. Actually, smells really good. Here is a gigantic grocery store, it looks like. Well, it's not gigantic, but it's pretty, it's like one of the biggest stores here in the market, looks like. Let me show you how much they're selling. So they're selling four Japanese apples. I don't even know they're from Japan, but the 500 Japanese yen, which that is like, let me see. That's a few dollars, like $3 or something for four apples. Some more seafood. I heard they even sell famous Kobe Wagyu beef over here too. This is the stuff they're selling over. Hello, hi, huh? What is this? Korewa Nandoska? Oh, whale. Oh, wow, whale meat. Oh, wow, amazing. Sugoi. This is cheek of the whale. 
Wow, you see even they're selling well in the market. That's amazing. Nice, good. I'm recording the whole market, showing people. Oh, whale is special in Japan? I did not know that. Cool, thank you. Oh, what part of the whale is this? Skin. Oh, whale skin. Boiled. Oh, boiled. Mm. All right, that's awesome, okay. Cod, the fish, cod. Ah, okay, so this is codfish. Interesting, thank you. That was a whale, guys. I never knew people eat whale. Did you? Look at these. You smell, a lot of these are really fresh. I heard some of these clams or what are these clams or oysters? One of them are like for like a thousand Japanese yen, 600, 700, depending where you go to. Different types of crabs. Wow, amazing. What is this lady selling over here? Let's see. Looks like little mochi balls. Red bean, sakura. A green tea mochi actually looks pretty nice, 160 yen. So about a dollar for each one of these mochis. They have a clothing store over here. I love going to these markets. And let me know, do you like to see the markets of Japan too? Selling some alcohol here too. They're selling Japanese bamboo sake. So sake is Japanese alcohol. But as you can see, it's steaming. It's, yeah, it's pretty hot, wow. So we're selling hot Japanese alcohol. I've never seen that before too. This is some of the food they have on display. So this little boha for 2,500. Three pieces of sushi, a thousand Japanese yen. Because I like to show you the markets, also get you an idea of the prices of everything. Oh, check this out. This is Kobe, I believe this is Kobe beef, if I'm not mistaken which is a type of Wagyu beef that's here in Kobe, Japan, which is not far from Osaka. I will go there pretty soon. But you can see different parts of the meat, 100 grams for 750 yen. And the famous about the Kobe beef is the marbling on the beef, if you can see the white and the red. It's famous and it's expensive too. It's not no cheap beef, that's for sure. But why it's not cheap is they really take care of the cows. The cows are supposed to be eating good food. Also I heard sometimes they even like massage the cow, make sure like it's a really nice cow as it's growing up. Oh wow, these are uh, the puffer fish here in Japan. So let me just sh talk to you about the puffer fish. See over here. So these are the famous puffer fish here in Japan. Only a little bit of that is for 1,500 Japanese yen. And oh, I think it was like 2,000, but they reduced the price because it's a little bit later in the day. That these puffer fish have to be caught by a specialist in Japan. It can't just be any guy cutting the puffer fish because they have these uh, poison sacs inside of the body that if you cut it the wrong way, it could poison you. So when you eat it, you could possibly die. They have a snack shop over here. It's not a lot of Japanese snacks. Uh, show you a little bit over here. Maybe we'll go to this other snack shop that I saw over there and show you how it is. So you can't ride your bicycle here from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mm. What's, what's over here? Some more coffee? Papua New Guinea coffee, okay. So you can see these are the prices and then it's per 100 grams. It smells actually really nice over here. Oh, it looks like they're even selling the coffee. I mean, they're selling the coffee for you to drink. <laughs> Seems like they have a little cafe thing over here. Nice. Coffee from all over the world. Brazil. I believe that's... E no, that's not Egypt. Is it Egypt? No, I don't know. It's somewhere in the Middle East, but I'm not really sure what country. Alright, let's continue on. Wow, so we just saw the... I just... Here, let me give you a 180 or like a 360 degree view. So we just came from that way, guys. And uh, here's another lane which is like kind of like, I guess currently we're in the middle of the market. There's another lane and we're gonna walk towards this main road over here. Uh, what was I gonna show you? Yeah, so this is how it is. Come during the morning or like during the early afternoon, not late afternoon. Let me show you guys also these live puffer fishes. So we just saw them dead, they're alive. Look at that one, wow. 
actually I could be mistaken, maybe they are not the puffer fish. But it's either this or another type of fish that if you don't cut it the right way, that uh, I could really mess you up. Hello. <laughs> Konnichiwa. You see, look, one piece, 1,500. Look how small it is, the portion. Maybe that's like 50 grams or something. I wish I knew how much that's uh, fish dead. 12,500 Japanese yen. I'll, I'll let you guys know the price of that. There's just so many different prices, it's hard for me to convert everything for you. Okay, let's go inside of this shop, guys. Get an idea of like what kind of sweets and treats they're selling. Just in case if you do visit Japan, you have an idea of what to get your family. This little Pokemon, it's Pokemon Tokyo Banana. Interesting. Earlier I was seeing a lady, she was actually selling some things from the shop online. I had the camera over here, talking on the camera. And then uh, she was just selling a lot of the products and her friend was just like giving her products. Milk, this is special milk for one piece, it's 500 Japanese yen. A few dollars just for a small piece of milk. Wow. It's like 300, how many milliliters is that? Let me just see real quick. It doesn't say how many milliliters it is. 100 ml, uh, looks like 250 ml. Just a small drink for 500 Japanese yen. Let's see what else they have. I'm like searching real quick to see if I can find anything cool I'm interested in. Corn chocolate, that's actually pretty cool. Corn chocolate, I've never seen that before. One bag is for 428 Japanese yen. It's pretty light though. Well, they even have potato chip chocolate. Okay, it gets stranger. There's potato chip. First there was corn chocolate and then there's potato chip. This is chocolate, Pota what is this? Potato chip chocolate, okay. I'm not quite sure what these are. They're wrapped in some type of Christmas sort of wrapping, but not sure what's inside of that. Scallop soy sauce chips. Oh, this is famous. Uh, I think this Thunder brand, they make a lot of chocolate here. Go what it's called. It actually looks pretty good. I think it's like nougat. Yeah, like white chocolate covered flavored nougat. Corn. Hokkaido. Oh, I guess this came from, oh, I guess some of these snacks come from different parts of Japan. Hokkaido. Corn. More of that Tokyo banana. Nice. All right. I heard the lady speaking Chinese. Let's go more through this market. How are we doing on time, guys? 13 minutes in? I think it's okay. What is this? Oh, it looks like it's a type of... Hello. No. Ego o hanashimasu ka? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little. A little, okay. Uh, what is this? Kore wa nan desu ka? Oh, it's... Oh, potato chips. Potato chips. It's oh, very wow. Sweet. Very sweet. Sweet and salty. Oh, so this is sweet potato, yes? Yeah, sweet potato. Oh, okay. So yeah. this is salty. Salty, oh, okay. And this come from uh, which part of Japan? Kyushu. Hokkaido? Kyushu. Kyushu, Kyushu. Kyushu. Kyushu oh. the island? Oh, Kyushu, yeah, yeah. Fukuoka. Oh, okay, Fukuoka. Okay. Fukuoka prefecture, Saga prefecture. Nice. They look really good. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. So one, one, Korewa, one is for 400. Yeah, 400. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. you can. Tasting taste? Taste? Okay, I'll try one. Okay, okay. Uh, try this one out. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Go so try it out, guys. So sweet, I should just... Oishi. Tastes good. <laughs> it's sweet potato, guys. And then you put some salt on it. So it actually really tastes really good. I might have to come back and get some. All right, thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Crab legs. Look at this gigantic uh, shrimp. One for 1,500. Hello. Hello. Let me, oh, they have some food over here. Let's see. That looks like some carrots and some sort of like potato or something. Mm, cool. So there's a lot of different types of food here. You can see 
places to sit down. I see most of the places you have to stand up and eat, which is all right for me. Hi. Hi. It's recording this. Look at these different clams, guys. Wow, look at those. Oh, they're moving. What do these guys look like to you guys? It's like long, like this. <laughs> Let me know. With some shrimp. Well, I believe these are sea urchins, are famous. We have octopus. Well, look at these. One piece only for 700. One piece only 900 of these oysters. 1200 Amazing. Well, half of this is for 2500 So I think it's a lobster, half of a... Yeah, half of a lobster or a crab for 2500 We have some pickled stuff over here. Hmm. Let's continue on. Vending machine over there. Seeing all this food, guys, is making me hungry. That's for sure. I would eat some of the seafood, but honestly, some of it's really expensive, and I'm traveling on a budget. If you want to support my channel, you can help me out, <laughs> support it a little bit. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on the food for right now because it's a little bit out of my budget. The Family Mart, which is in my budget. <laughs> this convenience store is famous here in uh, Japan. Mm. Well, they even have this like little flower shop over here. Okay, let's see. Well, how are we doing on time? 18 minutes in? Some of the sea urchins. One is for 1,800. Hello. Okay, well that's outside of the market and that's more of the market guys so i think i'm going to finish the video over here because i don't want it to be too long for you if you want longer videos just let me know i can make this video like 30 minutes 40 minutes but i think you guys want it to be a little bit shorter so as always please smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more videos around osaka and around the world click somewhere up on the screen love you take care and uh i'm just gonna probably just be exploring this area a little bit more and go to the next location see you later and bye